the other day, Spotify wrapped, dropped, and you know it's always wild when that time of year comes because we all act surprised and start questioning the stats because, well, a lot of it doesn't make sense sometimes. Even I looked at some of my listening stats and it was a shock. However, the year is long and there's always what we think and the reality of the data. Today, I'm going to unwrap the key highlights of the Spotify wrapped data pertaining to Sub-Saharan Africa and a spotlight on top streamed songs in the biggest countries on the continent where Spotify data is available. Buckle up, this is the no BS version. Afrobeats is the African genre that made headway in this year's Spotify Wrapped with an increase in streams of over 550% since 2017. So Afrobeats has really grown. And Spotify mentioned three artists that were added to Afrobeats playlists this year. And that was Rema, Burna Boy and Libyanka. I don't know what context it is that these three specifically were mentioned. Other than that, they were some of the top Afrobeats artists added to playlists that have anything to do with Afrobeats. Interestingly, Burner Boy is the most streamed African artist in Sub-Saharan Africa on Spotify for the second year in a row. He did that last year and has done it again. This guy is a beast. He is a beast. But it also shows that strategically what he's done, especially with um, the pivot in his music, where he's done those hip hop influence numbers like Sitting on Top of the World, you know, Big Seven and everything else. They're really working for him and the numbers are justifying it. Another key highlight is that there are no African artists in the top 10 most streamed artists globally. However, there was an African song in the top 10 most streamed songs globally, and that was Calm Down, the remix by Rema alongside Selena Gomez, which is huge, huge, huge. Rema is also doing the biggest numbers outside Africa at the moment, so in terms of African artists, he is the biggest export. There was also no African album in the top 10 most streamed albums globally, but that doesn't come as a surprise. Spotify Africa did something really cool where they compiled the top streamed artists in Nigeria, Kenya and South Africa based only on who streamed these artists in each respective country. So for Nigeria, for example, it would be these are the top streamed artists by Nigerians that use Spotify in Nigeria, basically. And here's Nigeria's top five streamed artists for 2023 on Spotify. Number five, Omar Lay. Number four, Shea Vibes. Number three, Davido. Number two, Burner Boy. And number one, Ashaki. When I posted this graphic in the community tab here on YouTube, I got so many questions like, where is Kiss Daniel? How come Reba is not there? Etc. You know, and the local taste for music will be different to the global taste. Rema, for example, has a much bigger fan base the world over than in Nigeria on Spotify. One reason for this could be because stylistically, he has a sound that crosses over better. Then other factors come into play like internet penetration, Spotify access, etc. This is bearing in mind that Spotify is only one streaming platform of many, even though it's considered the biggest. Maybe his Nigerian fans like to listen to Rema on Boomplay or Audio Mac, perhaps, maybe Apple Music, who knows. To unpack this would need its own dedicated video, looking at the various platforms and metrics, then, you know, determining that. Now, let's move on to Kenya's top five. Number five, Nyashinsky. Number four, Ben Sol. Number three, Bien. Number two, Sauti Sol. Number one, Waka Dinali. And this list is very interesting because I think for the longest time, Saudi Soul has been the biggest music brand out of Kenya for sure. But internally, you realize the pool that, you know, artists like Waka Dinali have as and especially as a, you know, a rap drill group. Ah, man, what they have done is ridiculous. They've got a cult following and people in Kenya are really listening to it. On the other hand, Bien double dipping, of course, as a solo artist and as part of Saudi Soul. Come on. 
<laughs> but he's done well for himself and he's also got uh, his new project that he dropped um, the other week. So it's looking good for him. I don't know. I think Saudi Soul's grip as the biggest music brand um, out of Kenya is probably going to we're going to see a difference in that particularly because they've uh, done their world tour this year, which really pushed their brand and amplified it for sure. But they said after this year, after all the tours are done um, and the cities are done this year, they are not going to be making music for at least the foreseeable future uh, as Saudi Soul. Who knows what impact that's going to be. So I predict that next year we probably won't see Saudi Soul uh, at number two. Maybe they'll they'll drop a little bit, but let's see what happens. Now let's move on to South Africa's top five artists of 2023 on Spotify. And at number five, Meluem Sleazy. Number four, Kelvin Momo. Number three, Java. Number two, DJ Maporesa. And number one, Cubs are the small. No surprises on this list. Four out of the five artists are Ama Piano producers, acts, whatever you want to call them. And obviously, Java, cult following in South Africa. He is endeared to the nation for sure. And as a BT award winner as well. Come on, man. Java is that guy. Something I found interesting overall, and I should have mentioned this when I was talking about uh, the top five artists in Nigeria, is... Having a shaggy at number one also makes sense looking at his career trajectory and the numbers that he posts. As a fusion artist that really transcends between Afrobeats and Ama Piano, he has ears everywhere. He is also one of the most listened artists in South Africa in general. And I think this was on YouTube, by the way. He was like top five or something. This guy is doing something amazing. Anyway, it makes sense to also take a quick look at the top five songs streamed in each of these countries this year, and Spotify created a really cool interactive map for that. Now, on the Africa side of things, let's check out those top five songs in each jurisdiction. Let's start with Nigeria. Top five songs. Number five, Reason, Omale. Number four, 230, Ashake. Number three, Feel, Davido. Number two, Gwagwalada, Benson featuring Kiss Daniel and Shea Vibes. And then number one, Lonely at the Top, Ashake. Ashake, two songs, two songs in that top five, bruh. This guy. Hey, hey, hey. Let's move on to Kenya, top songs in Kenya. Uh, number five, Kiss Daniel, Kof Odo. Number four, Fireboy DML, uh, Bandana. Number three, uh, Bayani ta, ta, ta. Number two, Ruga Asiwaju. Number one, Ira Star Rush. <laughs> okay, let's call a spade a spade. Kenyans are not listening to Kenyan music at all. <laughs> They're listening to uh, Nigerian music the whole way. This is pretty impressive. All right, let's 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 keep moving. Uh, top five songs in Tanzania. Number five, uh, Fireboy DML, Bandana. Number four, Darasa, Nobody, featuring BN. Number three, uh, Harmonize Single Again. Ooh, so Tanzania, and I'm a piano in there. Uh, number two, Ruga, Asuaju. Number one, Irista, Rush. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's, let's try Ghana, actually. Top songs in Ghana. Number five, Fireboy DML, Bandana. Number four, Omale, so so. Number three, Extra Cool by Young John. Number two, Lonely at the Top by Ashake. Number one, Asua Juruga. The songs that we're seeing um, over and over again right now, uh, Bandana um, by Fibo DML, Lonely at the Top by Ashake, and Asua Juruga by Ruga. It's telling us a story, isn't it? Interesting. Um, let's try Angola just for fun. Uh, okay, number five, Black Spigo versus and uh, Posias. I don't even know the song. Um, <laughs> number four, Irina Bias, Viaja. Number three, uh, Three Finer, Mente Confusa. Number two, Ira Star Rush. Woo, Ira Star Girl, what's up? Killing it. And then number one, Chelsea Dinorat, uh, Sodadi. 
Okay, and then moving down, Botswana, number five, Amos Fatela, uh, number four, two point one Stimela, uh, number three, Saw Matrix Minanawe, number two, Lady Ama Hamba Juba, number one, Mnige, Aige, 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 Hey, like that, I like that, uh, and then finally, South Africa. Number five, DJ Stogi, Aukuzeg. Um, number four, Stimela, 2.1. Eish, these guys did something. I like it. I like it. Number three, Saw Matrix, Minanawe. Uh, number two, Lady Amar, Amba Juba. And then number one, Munige, Tyler, I see you. And you know what? Data always tells us a story, which is beautiful. Because you can really see like um, across uh, at least outside of uh, Sadik, you're seeing it's really concentrated on Afro beats. Ira Star's Rush is there, Fireboy DML in East Africa, um, and even in Ghana. Ghana is not even listening to Ghanaian music. Like, what the hell? Uh, same as Kenya. Kenya is not listening to Kenyan music. <laughs> Uh, maybe I should do some videos on this. Uh, but then as you move further down, you start to see the Ama Piano show up now. So, for example, in Botswana, straight up Ama Piano all the way through, just uh, the same as South Africa as expected. And for today, this is where I leave things. Really, you can see, without a doubt, Afrobeats is the genre that's doing the things all over it really is and uh spotify has said so itself and in a more niche sense then you get ama piano but it's 2023 is an afrobeats year no question nigeria has really been carrying the torch there and the music is has infiltrated everywhere africa outside of africa they're doing what they're supposed to do there is some other data to dig into but i'll leave that for another video you tell me what are your thoughts on the Spotify Wrapped this year, particularly concerning Afro beats and then Ama Piano? I'd love to know your thoughts and let's have a healthy discussion in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. This is how the channel grows and we can continue giving you videos. Share this video with a friend, family member, coworker, churchmate, whatever. Otherwise, that's it for me. My name is M. Jomoto, son of Zimbabwe, signing out. Peace. Day, day.